Hello, I'm going to go over the new Nerds camera review app. The first thing you want to do is actually set up your taxa lists and set up your camera review species list. So you want to come into taxa lists and actually edit the list of species. So let's say I add cal to my list uh, for camera review species. So next thing you want to do, once all your, your lists are set up, is open up the app in Windows and log in. And once you log in, you'll see a list of your reviews, if it's the f of your reviews. And, the first, and so you can either add a new review or you can come in here and you can edit or view an existing review. So I'm going to add a new review. Click Add Review. Next thing I'm going to do is navigate and choose the photo folder. You want to go to the lowest level photo folder where the, the photos are. Select my folder and it's going to tell me I have 999 files. Select the camera, date, and, ca and camera check. Camera placement. Write a note and create review. And you'll see now my camera review will show up right here. So here's the one I just I just created. So once I want to look at my photos, I click these three dots over here and I click view. And this will open up the dialog window that will let me record my observations. And you'll see I'm zero out of 999. I click continue and now I can see all my photos. I can scroll through by just scrolling down this way. If I click the magnifying glass, it'll make the photos big, and I can hold down the right arrow and quickly go through all the photos. Once I've seen something I like, I can either select it from this, or I can exit out, and I can select a maybe the start and end, or I can hold down shift and click and it'll select a range of photos. Now I click the species that I want to record, so I'm going to click unknown petrol in this case, fill out the form, I can add additional species if maybe it's a multi-species observation or different ages, click create observation, And now my, now my photos are, my camera species observation is recorded. Once I'm done with my observations, actually I can come over here and I can actually edit that observation if something was wrong. And once I'm done, I can click end review. Clicking end review will ask me to either complete the review or continue later. If I, if I just need to finish up later, I can click continue later. And what that'll do is actually allow me, it'll move the review into pending. And now when I come in here and I go to view the review again, and click continue, it'll take me to my, my position where I was when I last um, stopped my review. If I click complete review, it'll actually complete the review. If I need to say change the photo path because something's broken, I can click edit, and I can actually come over here and I can change the path where the photos are coming from. You do want to be careful because if you're going to a photo, a folder with absolutely different photos, it'll mess up your review. Now, um, as you can see, if I need to look at my species observation, I can click species observations here. The date of the observation is going to be the date of the photos, right? So I can click camera review and I click over here and I can see the photos from my review. So that's our species observation camera review app. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Thank you.